Does anyone else drive with their purse on or is it just me? I just blasted myself with AC so hopefully I have enough cool air in the car to chat without simply melting because I'm currently in Phoenix, Arizona. It is 100 degrees outside but I'm so excited for today because we're gonna be doing some good old-fashioned suburbia shopping and errand running. I'm already starting to full roast without the AC and I need caffeine. So we're going to stop number one which is Dunkin Donuts. I'm gonna do the drive-through and I asked you guys on Instagram your Dunkin recommendations because I feel like I've never I've never quite found like the good thing. It's been okay but I feel like I'm not ordering the right things so I'm gonna be ordering one of your recommendations. Happy time. Hey can I please do a small French vanilla swirl ice latte? Or should I do medium? Yeah, it's medium iced. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what that reflection is, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> and I like it. I've got some bokeh there. Turning down the AC. This is what this entire video is going to be. Me telling you I'm turning down the AC. <laughs> I made a last minute game time decision and got the medium iced vanilla swirl latte, which I think is like a basic one, but I haven't tried any of the like swirls. I honestly don't even know what the swirl thing is. She looks pretty. Okay, let's taste test. Whoa, really sweet. I mean, it tastes like the coffee that I make at home, like the iced coffee. Yeah, I can make this. I like trying different drinks. Okay, we have moved locations. Found a little little shade here. So I'm back in the US of A, which means Target, Chipotle, TJ Maxx, all the shopping, you know? If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I travel and work remote. I was just in Jordan in the Middle East for a month. I have some videos from Jordan there, but I'm back now. I'm dog sitting for a couple weeks in Phoenix, Arizona. And for whatever reason, Phoenix has, I swear, someone fact check me on this. Out of anywhere I've been, Phoenix has the most amount of stores I've ever seen. Like, on every single block pretty much there's a shopping center it's unbelievable i don't know do people just like go shopping non-stop here what's the deal pretty wild but there's every possible store you could ever want very close by by the way look at this receipt has anyone ever seen a pink receipt so cute so i have a couple places i want to hit up today i'm thinking tj maxx definitely sephora i actually have a couple sephora returns because i placed an online order and a couple of shades and stuff are wrong i think we're gonna do that next might do chipotle not gonna lie i already got chipotle it was the first thing i like got my rental car and then went straight to chipotle but we might need a chipotle round two today we'll see where the wind takes us but i'm thinking the wind will also take us to crumble cookies <laughs> because I have been dreaming about Crumble the entire time I've been gone and I've had to mute their Instagram stories because I would just be drooling. My camera is saying that it's getting too hot. Same. I feel like I'm already getting wired from this since there's so much sugar. By the way, I'm loving the self tanner I have on right now. I'll link it down below. It's a new one I picked up from Sephora. And then on my lips, I'm wearing my Peri Peri Gloss. Also in love, just a clear one with Tarte Mauve lip liner. I'll have all the jewelry linked down below. I mixed a Joa BB cream with actually the e.l.f. bronzer, like cream bronzer, just to darken it a little bit, but loving the BB cream too. Let's go to Sephora. I'm gonna do a haul of everything at the end, but I was just on the way to go to TJ Maxx and I saw this Goodwill in Scottsdale. And I feel like because we're in Scottsdale, there might be some good finds here. So I'm gonna go pop in and see if we can find anything thrifted. The jean section especially was amazing in there. They had so many good jean shorts from like Madewell, Levi's. They had good brands in that one. I didn't end up getting anything, but they had good brands. Change of plans. I'm not going to TJ Maxx yet, if I do. I think I'm still gonna go, but I'm getting a little hangry. Mm, yeah, we're going to Chipotle. Is that even a question? There are so many good Mexican restaurants here, like in Phoenix, so I kinda wanna go to like an actual authentic place, but I just don't think today's the day. Tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, you 
you guys are stacked on two cans of beans right now <laughs> going with the chipotle theme but i decided to come back just for a little bit everything is so close that it's like so easy to pop back and then head back out wanted to let the little doggy out just recharge drink some water got my medicine all that good stuff well i'll show you what i ended up getting at sephora and then i also went to walgreens because well i went there for my prescriptions also i think it's so interesting depending on the city like if they still do plastic bags comment down below where you live and are plastic bags still a thing because i'm so used to seattle for i think for the last i want to say like since i've lived there i feel like they banned plastic bags you use paper or nothing and i think in california too i'm trying to remember in san diego so i went in for my prescriptions but then on the way out I found these glasses and I've been looking for glasses like these for literally I want to say like two years where they're like the Ray-Ban style. They look like the Ray-Bans, but they're always way too wide for my face, these type ones. I've tried some from Amazon and all over the place and they just never seem to fit my face good. They're just like way too wide. How cute are those? I feel like they look like the Ray-Bans, but they actually, I think they like fit my face better and I don't think they look too wide. They're cute. So happy about these. If you do a lot of traveling, Walgreens is in most cities I've found and it's super easy through their app. This is not, it sounds like a sponsor by Walgreens, it's not. But if you do a lot of traveling, it's really easy through their app to just transfer to a store near you. So anytime I'm in a new city in the US, I just transfer it to that Walgreens very easily. Also, I know a lot of places, pharmacies will deliver to an address and there's like capsule in certain cities. I've checked out a few of those kinds, but the thing is, you never know, like when I get to a new spot or Airbnb or whatever, I never know how the mail situation is going to be. So I don't really want to risk getting like my medication sent and then it not being there or whatever. So I'd rather just pick it up because I'm staring at it right now. This is the BB cream I have on. Really enjoying this so far. Looks really nice and smooth. And today I did put it on with the Amy Calais powder, which you saw in my Sephora new makeup try on video. This stuff is incredible. I put that on around my pores today and just right between my eyebrows and I feel like it's still looking really nice. What I got at Sephora. So I had a few returns, so I actually didn't have to pay for any of this. I mean, I paid for it, but you know, when you do returns and you feel like you're actually like making money, <laughs> your brain feels like you're saving money. It's actually my birthday. My birthday's June 11th. So I got my birthday gift, decided to go with away sample pack so i really wanted the debronzy drops because I've, those are repurchased like i love those they're great for mixing them with any spf if you wear tanner or just in the summer when your skin tone is like getting tanner if you're someone who tans <laughs> naturally those are really nice because you can adjust the shades of foundations really easy or moisturizer spf you just drop it in it's like tinted color but they were sold out so i ended up getting the super goop glow screen but in the shade golden hour which i haven't tried before normally i just use the lightest one which i think is called sunrise with tanner i think the shade will be better so i'm hoping this kind of like replaces that for me either i can mix this in with other stuff or just wear it on its own but it does have a like golden kind of tint to it I needed a darker bronzer i'm hoping this shade works because the lighting in that sephora i was like what is going on it was so dark in there i was literally like whipping out my phone flashlight to try and see products like either i'm getting old or there's no lights on in here but this is the sephora bronzer in the shade 04 amalfi this packaging is a full-time job okay let's see this shade here it is that looks like it'll hopefully be good that might still be too light with tanner on uh, no i think that'll be good all of the powder bronzers i have right now are just not dark enough for that and then i got this because i saw shelby henry mua she posted about this on instagram as this formula was like one of her go-to for brides she mixes a lot of them but she had really good things to say about this formula so urban decay unbreakable liquid lip color but these are shiny so they're supposed to be like very shiny but actually last like a liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Textum on the display it said that this was the best selling shade and i want to say this is one of the ones that shelby also loves mirrored Ooh, look at that should i try a little bit let's try it i have the lip gloss on right now but i'm just gonna add a tiny bit Ooh, i don't want it like super opaque right now okay we'll see i mean i'm gonna test it we'll we'll update glad i went with this one i almost went with like the lighter pink when i first got here i was so jet lagged that i was waking up i was going to sleep at like nine and then waking up at like 4 4 30 and i've kind of just like kept on that sleep schedule i've been going to sleep at literally nine o'clock and then waking up at like five and if i wake up feeling okay i've been like reading in bed for a couple hours and then going on a walk around like 6 30 before it gets super hot 
So I did that this morning. I actually went on a three mile walk at 6.30 a.m. So it's only, I think like one o'clock right now, but I'm already like feeling like I'm starting to crash. Not like to sleep sleep, but I'm just having that like late afternoon crash, which is now one o'clock instead of like four o'clock. I actually love waking up early. I love like driving around or going somewhere before it gets busy. Like if you go to a Target right when it opens, oh my God, heaven. We're just walking around. I don't know. I think it's so nice when you're up before you feel like the rest of the world's up like the fact that i've been reading and then walking and basically getting like three hours in of just like things that are good for me like mentally physically before 8 a.m <laughs> is insane so i'm trying to stay on this schedule but also it's like the only reason i'm able to do that is because i'm going to sleep so early because i haven't been doing like really anything i've been working here a lot and hanging out and reading and like relaxing, recharging, hanging out with the dog. Tomorrow night I have a date here and we're meeting up at 8.30. So that's gonna throw off my whole good rhythm here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna chug some water and then I'm trying to decide if I wanna go to Target, which could be dangerous. I'm leaning towards TJ Maxx right now, but there's also this store here called, I think it's called Last Chance. I think it might be mostly designer stuff, I'm not sure, but from like Nordstrom, that's supposed to be like really marked down. I've heard you like really dig through stuff and I feel like that might be a place that's better to go like first thing in the morning. Where should we go? I feel like I'm in a TJ Maxx mood. Let's go to TJ Maxx. I just learned that there's raising canes in Phoenix. If I knew that, I would have skipped the Chipotle today and gone there. There's literally everything here. I don't get it, but it's right across the street. Just saw one. I've never had it before, actually. If you haven't heard of it, I think it was from LA originally, but it's like the famous chicken and like, I think their bread and their sauce is famous. I don't know. I've just seen like muk mukbangers eat it but i'm heading into tj maxx i actually do have a couple things i want to get for whenever i do the like house sitter things i like to leave them just with like a little card and like a candle or something and i know this girl who i'm watching her house and her dog i know she likes fruity candles because she has like fruity ones all over the place so i'm gonna try to find fruity candles and then like a little card last time i found the cutest card with like the same type of dog <laughs> that they had so i'm hoping i can get close this time but yeah if you do trusted house sitters i always just think it's it's a nice little thing for them to come home to i've left like flowers before too or something but you got to get those good reviews you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right let's head into tj max there's also a home goods right there I just need you to know because if not i'll get comments this i didn't finish i'm gonna like dilute that probably over the next couple days honestly because it's so sweet and drink it and chipotle whenever i get chipotle it lasts me at least another meal so my eating is not the healthiest today but i'm not eating all of it i can't believe these are in front of me truly been waiting for this moment for the last month so i got three different flavors here <laughs> someone posted that they can tell what what week i'm filming my videos based on what the crumble cookies flavors are and i thought that was hilarious so this is the biscoff one and then this is the mystery cookie which is like a, i think it said marshmallow whopper or something this one is chilled and then this guy 
is what I'm most excited for. The berry crumbler, I think it's called, berry crisp. Oh, that one smells amazing. I just got a whiff of that jam. This reminds me of like home and Toshin. <laughs> If you know, you know. Also these, normally I'll have like a couple little slivers and then these cookies will last me like literally five days usually. And I just have like a couple bites each night and it like satisfies my sweet tooth. And because they're so soft, like if you never had crumble cookies, they're very doughy, which I love. But because they're so doughy, I feel like they last really well. They don't get like hard and crumbly and stuff. No pun intended. Here we go. I cut them into little slivers. I think I'm gonna try the berry one first because I'm most excited. Mm. Yep. This one has a lot of jelly on the top. I feel like they could have done like half the jelly, but it is good. And I feel like they could have put like some berry inside the cookie, but it's tasty. Let's try a Biscoff. We just got berry on that. We have a little berry comp. Oh my God, what's happening? Am I okay? Wait, oh my God. This one is delish. I'm not normally like a Biscoff kind of person. This one is good. It's not too cinnamony and it kind of tastes like graham crackers. Whoa. This one is chilled, which I don't understand. I guess just because the filling probably. Sometimes they randomly do chilled ones. I would rather just like wait for this to get room temp, but because we're testing them right now, I'm going to try it. Mm, that one's fine. I think you could skip that one. The chilled cookie just really doesn't do it for me. It's definitely more dry. Biscoff, definitely number one. Look at that doughy inside. That's what I'm talking about. So at TJ Maxx, I just picked up a couple things. I got this laundry bag. I have a ma like massive one with me right now and it's just kind of, it's like almost too big and I just love the little strawberries on here. I just got a phone case that looks like really similar to this. I mean, I'm in the strawberry mood right now. And then this, how perfect is this? So it's citrus, which you like, citrus and sandalwood. It smells really good, sand and fog brand. And then look at the top. I was like, oh my God, this looks like her dog, literally. I thought that was perfecto for a little gift. I couldn't find any cards, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else and try to find a card. They had like literally two and they were mostly like graduation ones. Just a little cute thing to come back to, you know? And then half price books, I ended up getting this new Colleen Hoover book. It's Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. And I guess they like co-wrote it together. I'm really excited to read this. Love Colleen Hoover. Turns out half price books is not half price, but they do mark down a little bit. Like the new ones are, I think it said 20% off. I love the color of this one too with the black, like so nice and satisfying. Let me know if you've read this, what you thought. It says basically they're best friends, but as of this morning, they're complete strangers. They forget everything. They have to work together to uncover the truth about what happened to them and why and they learn about the couple they used to be blah 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 it's actually the first time i've bought like a paper real book in a long time because of the traveling but i love my kindle oasis this is what i read everything on i just have the little case on it right now i did the airplane mode trick because it expired on libby if you don't know if you rent a book through libby for free it's like the library online library thing app download it it's amazing this is the first book i've bought in a long time but i did the trick where you if you put on airplane mode it doesn't return the book or it does return it like it doesn't stop the next person from getting it because i was worried about that the next person still gets it but it just keeps it in your library so you can still read it even though it's expired and like technically returned all right just changed into my pajama top i now need to actually work that was such a nice half day going all over the place shopping eating good food that was fun had a good time with myself, you know, and with you guys. I was talking to someone, we were just talking about like the different phases of life and how like interesting it is and how like, I, it's just a reminder that no matter what phase of life you're in, if you're like me and you're single and doing your own thing, or if you're married with kids and like these kinds of days are more rare, I feel like it's just, you know, like being thankful for wherever you're at. I'm just embracing the phase of life I'm in right now, which is I have, you know, total freedom to go where I want and do what I want when I want, which I'm very thankful for. And I think when you're single, especially, I just always try to remind myself, like, there's going to be a point in the next few years, probably, where I'm going to be, like, wanting a day like this, and it's going to be rare. Now I gotta actually work. I'm just going to be camped out on the couch for the rest of the night, but I wanted to tell you guys, I've been actually loving these makeup wipes i'm not above makeup wipes okay so especially with the eyelash extensions wipes are so much easier with the lash extensions because i can just like go right around them and don't have to worry about like the oil i don't know where the heck these have been my whole life i was looking on amazon and these had amazing reviews so i was like maybe i should try these instead of my usual neutrogena these are better than the Neutrogena ones. I don't know if I'm just like super late to the game with this one or, or what, but it's the Aveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. These are bomb, you guys. This is the tanner I'm wearing that I was talking about earlier. My mic was just faced the wrong way that entire time I was talking. 
Hopefully I could edit the sound to sound decent on that clip. Right now I'm just gonna take off my makeup with this wipe just cause it's easy and I'm just not going to bed yet. But once I'm ready for bed, I'm gonna either shower and wash my face in there or wash my face in the sink. These ones, I just feel like remove the makeup faster than the Neutrogena and they have less like tug to them. I don't know if they're just more wet. Whatever they do, they do it well. I was debating getting lash extensions here, like getting a fill. Now would be the time because they are about, I feel like they're like half off. I found a couple people, but no one's style was like exactly what I was looking for. And the one person I really liked was all book until like the week after I leave. So I don't know, maybe I'll try and get on her wait list. And if not, I'll just like let them fall out. I have this Vaseline lip therapy and like the tin that I've been using at night. I don't know about you, but when I work, I have to have my makeup off and either put my hair back in like a full top bun or like clip it back. Cannot be in the face at all. I feel like I can't think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed spending the day together and doing some good old errands. Anything I talked about in today's video that can be linked down below is linked down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.